hello guys welcome back to part three of the tutorial so today i'll be showing you how to use the retracker gene lock inside of a symmetry and also the lens calibration tool so once you purchase retracker gene lock this is how your folder should look like inside mine i have a lens calibrated already it's an 11 millimeter so the first thing that you want to do is go to the retracker demo folder and copy the key and the remote address file Go back to the retracker gene lock folder and paste it. So once you have your key and the remote address file, now go back to the retracker demo folder and you should see that they have a lens calibration explanation and a lens calibration checkerboard. Just make sure you have those two files open. Here's the lens calibration explanation. So it shows you what you need to do and I will also be showing you guys how to do this. Here's the checkerboard. This checkerboard will need to be printed and stapled to a cardboard. Now let's go back to the retracker gene lock folder and we'll open the retracker gene lock. Once the retracker gene lock is open, go ahead and open uh, symmetry. Click on Device Mapper, Manage Devices, OSC Server, and make sure you are connected to the same local IP address. And the port number should be set on 7000. And click on the OSC Out, and make sure the same IP address is connected. This time the port number should be set on 8000. And to add this IP address and the port number, just click on Add, and you can just Type it in right here. Now click OK and apply and just start. So once the symmetry is open, I will click on Recent and open my project file. So right now it's loading. So this right is the retracker server. As you can see, the data are coming in. And also, I have my lens distortion file right here. And by the way, we are using a wireless transmission system on both the tracker and the camera. And my frame rate right now is set to 50 frames. As you can see right here. And when we go back to the retracker gene lock, it says 50 frames medium. So, as you can see, this right here is handheld with the wireless transmission system. Yeah, the chroma key is not well done, but it's just a test. So now I'm about to show you how to calibrate your lens. We will do this on a blank project, so you can go ahead and save as a preset for later on to use for other lenses. The first thing that you need to do is insert a video input, so just right click insert and search for video input select it click ok now go to the video input settings and select your camera so mine is right here 1080p 50 frames click ok now go back to insert and search for video out select it click ok and just set this to 1 and turn on preview. Now set that to the video out. As you can see right here, that's my video input. 
Now go back to insert and insert a video recorder. Video recorder right here. Select it. Set that right there. And right here, just select your output of where the screenshots will be saved. So mine right now is in document recordings. The output file name will go right here. Go down to video format and change this to JPEG. To take the screenshot, just click on the trigger button. And that should take the screenshots. Also, the screenshots have to be at least 30 of them. Here's a preview of mine. So yeah, that's all of them right there. And they need to be located inside of the retracker folder where the retracker camera calibration tool is in. So once it's in there, just double click on the retracker calibration tool. So it should automatically recognize the checkerboard. So once it does that, just edit it. It's gonna bring another one, just edit it. It's gonna bring another one, edit it. Just keep doing the same thing. So complete, that's 100%. So it's going to ask you to save the file as. So I'll save this as a 11 millimeter lens. Guess two. Just click enter. And that should automatically save. So that's, that's all for the lens calibration. So here's the lens calibration file right here. So once you do this, go back in asymmetry. So once you're in asymmetry, just click right here. Select your lens calibrated file. I got mine on desktop, so let's go here. Desktop. Uh, this is the one. 